All right, so welcome everybody to part two of this Sheepbreak leveling, right? We're leveling with Gardens of the Imperium <laughs> and the Mon Montar Trap, right? Nice. Um, yeah. That's not gonna become a Guardian or Mortar Purifier or like Sheepbreaker later. This is purely like a leveling spec. And that's kind of a scuffed leveling spec as well, as you can see right now, because we are missing, actually... We're missing stuff, right? We're missing lightning and cold rust. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Alright, like, using triple aether to fix that. Um, I mean, Shieldbreaker doesn't give you, like, any rest, right? That's kind of a scuffed class, to be honest. I mean, this literally fixes it, right? Like, just doing this change fixes everything, right? I would lose the, the Fizzerness, though. But... Just don't get hit by physical attacks, right? Maybe that's an idea. Alright, so... Let's just start here, right? Um, what do we do last? Uh, we always go into the setter, right? That's like the first thing you always do in Ultimate here nowadays. There we go. Yo, Thiefiness, welcome on. Welcome, welcome on. Hope you had some more fun um, playing Grim Dawn the other day. Oh my god. And ultimately, this character is gonna be a little bit squishy, right? I mean, just like any locker leveling build, it's gonna be a little squishy, but I will. We somehow managed, like, just don't get hit, right? The video you're watching is about a cartoon about carbon emissions in Kyoto Protocol. Specifically, how people export it, how people, like, buy stuff as well to, like, be able to imitate more and stuff like that, I guess. <laughs> Grim Yorno hype. <laughs> so, now me, work on, work on. That Nicolas face is a face I haven't seen in quite some time. Did you get a gifted sub or? Yo, Tomo, look on, look on. Cartoon emissions, yeah. Imagine being able to read, right? Imagine being able to read. Go through the base game without dying. Nice. Congrats, congrats. So you basically beat the tutorial, right? <laughs> I mean, still, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Gotta give it to up, easy. Nice. It's actually good to like see <clears throat> a couple more people like stream this game again, like in recent weeks or days. I think the Steam server sale did bring quite some new people to the game. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. I mean, the game is such a gem, to be honest. Like, you can play it casually, play it as a, I don't know, like, invest more than 4,000 hours into the game like I have, or, I don't know, like, play as you want, basically. It's never gonna be boring. Unless you're, like, missing the super fast paced gameplay of Path of Exile. And, like, if you don't miss that, then you're gonna have, like, a lot of fun with this game. Alright, where we go? We go here and. Yo, Hanko Tank, welcome on. El Porvel, welcome on, welcome on. It's not like an MMO game where you have to follow the pace of the devs. It's not like Diablo 3 where you like can only play what like the devs want you to play. Because like literally everything else is just garbage, right? In this game you have like so many things you can play, and like, it's build diversity is basically through the roof, I would say. It's kind of well balanced compared to at least some other RPGs. <clears throat> Our last epoch. Good, you're back. Yo, Mr. Engineer. <laughs> uh, but the announcer is so scuffed with those emotes. Well, yeah, welcome back, man. How are you, man? Long time no see. Good to have you back. Let's go, woo.
You don't want to play a buff set with 30k more damage, so you have chosen the DPS, yeah. <laughs> there are the three in a nutshell, right? Oops. I mean, Ali is... Ali just needs my, like, I don't know, like way more items, I feel like. And yeah, like some broken stuff in Ali is... Like broken for too long, I feel like, I don't know. I and mean, they're they're gonna nerf like the werebear interaction with the weird weapon that like lets the auto cast earthquake right like one hundred percent. But it's already like alive for one patch too many. I feel like like why? Also, yeah, like some skills in Last Epoch, they. Uh, I mean, in the end, it's kind of like you said, Illuminator, right? Like, you have all these, like, awesome skill trees in Last Epoch, and you have, like, lots of choice on paper, but then, like, when you actually look at the things, right, like, some nodes are just, like, so much better compared to others that, like, I don't know, like, even if you have, like, item support or, like, your build will support the other node more, and then, like, most of them you just can't use because, like, the others are way better. But I mean, there, there are some skills where you have some variety, actually. Like, it's not true for all the skills. And I mean, yeah, in the end it's like a balancing issue, right? If they've just balanced it right, like, better than now at least, and it's not gonna be as bad. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of where, like, end up realized, like, end up with LE as well. Like every single patch, like whenever there's a patch, right, I play it for quite some time. And then I'm like super hyped, yeah, like the game's awesome, everything, I mean, it's, it's still awesome. But like at some point I realize, yeah, balance is still like pretty bad in the game. I mean, Grim Dawn balance and like Alpha was pretty bad as well, so. It's not like LE, it's not gonna make it, right? Like, they still have time. I feel like some things when it comes to balance. Um, I mean, obviously, like balance is not a top priority for a game like this, especially in this stage, like in alpha stage, right, or beta stage, whatever you want to call it, right? or exit stage. But I feel like some balance issues are like taking too long, like taking them too long to fix in a way. Alternative for the skills and playable. And it's not un unplayable per se, but it's like... I mean, it depends like what kind of content you want to do, right? And like, to be honest, most of the content right now in Lost Park is just... very easy. Unless you go like, high corruption and empowered, or like you go to deep arena. But, I mean, then of course, like, it depends a lot on like which build you're playing, right? And like, only few builds can like, actually... Or like only a few variations of skills can like go that deep. <clears throat> LE, uh, Last Epoch. It's another RPG, kind of like Grim Dawn or... Uh, it's more like Path of Exile, I would say. Or like it's kind of like in, the, in between Grim Dawn and Path of Exile in a way. When it comes to like pacing and skills, etc. But it's not like early access. High corruption mobs become HP and one hit sponges. Oh, hello. So what you're saying is that the base skill set of like some of the enemies are like or is like not interesting enough. I don't know, I mean I think some enemies have like fine skill sets. I mean, many like many enemies in Grand Dawn aren't really like that much different than other demons. Like many enemies in like every single RPG are like that. Uh, right? I mean, sure, some of the like trolls or golems, if you're like kind of under gear, they can like, even like one shot you in the main campaign, right? Or like almost one shot you in the main campaign. At least an ultimate. I mean, yeah, also, 
I feel like arena pushing meta. I mean, I know, for example, that Lizard likes it. But, like, the meta for, like, high arena pushing, that basically the only viable builds are the ones that don't get hit on it. Like, you have to be a kiting god and, like, not get hit ever by anything. And that's how you kind of, like... Not die, right? And I don't know, I feel like... I mean, sure, that should be, like, one of the playstyles that are, like, good, but it shouldn't be the only way, right? I mean, Grim Dawn is a little bit the other way around, right? Like, Grim Dawn... I think it's maybe a little bit too hard to kite. And, like... For example, if the base movement speed was, like, a little bit higher, it would have been, like, a little bit easier to make, like, more ranged... Um, squishier builds. What the fuck is happening here, by the way? The mortars are like shooting, but they're not hitting us. What the hell is happening here? Hello? Um, yeah, nice, nice game, right? <laughs> Fix your game, great. Yeah, Grindel is kind of on the other spectrum. I mean... Not... I mean, I don't know. I feel like Grim Dawn's balancing is better than Lost Epoch still right now. I mean, it should be, right? That's an older game. Like, actually, on some, like, especially cooldown reduction kiting casters or, like, totem casters, you can play around, like, not getting hit very well. It's just, like, ranged gun builds, for example. They just. No, they're, they're cocked, right? For the most part of the list. Bug report. With the totem. Uh, I think it's actually like has been happening to me a lot with that totem. Like this totem over here, the graveyard, right? Like it can spawn like an enemy in that corner very often. It's kind of annoying, yeah. Wonder what the game would look like if attack damage converted to health was eliminated. <laughs> we'll just see like, I don't know, Avenger set and Pyron set being like the most OP, I guess. Like, Pyron set is very good with health gen as well, right? It's really good for health gen. But you got a farm goddess? Yes, you got a farm goddess. Farm Goddess is a pain, I did. There's always a chance you uninstall before you get the build. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know, man. Like, they need to fucking increase the drop rate of the ring. Like, I've been asking for this like three times already, I think. It's, they're not doing it, man. It's bad, man. And, like, the thing is, not too many people care because, like, most people that like provide feedback to create and like create builds on the forum, they're just GD statues anyway, like they don't care about Godless Ring drop rate. And, like they don't care as much. At least. Or like they are maybe like, yeah, just farm is R a lot of it. Just farm is R a crucible to like get the ring. I, mean, I guess valid argument, but valid point, right? But, uh. Wait, where's the third fabric? We're missing one fabric here. What is this? Hello. Huh? Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Like the path soundtrack, Pog, Jam, yeah. It's pretty nice. But yeah, I, I do actually need like more soundtracks again, like we're, we've already been like through with all the soundtracks. Like we're listening to Octopath again, it's already the second time. I, mean, I don't mind it, but I think we still need like maybe 20 more soundtracks in there. Witcher 3. Oh yeah, we didn't do Witcher 3 yet, right? True, 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 true. It's actually in the list, I just didn't press on the
This battle's gonna be interesting. I feel like it's gonna be so squishy when I'm like level 85 to 94. Yerat, Jerat, Yerat. Is he like uh, the review guy? Is he like a Swedish guy? Because like Swedish like to pronounce Yerat that way. Or like any J sound, they like pronounce as Yeah, Yeah instead of Yerat. Mozart, just to Mozart and Bach and Beethoven. Nice. And uh, Stravinsky, Tchaikovsky, right? That's a good one. I mean, why not, right? Why not? Outward soundtrack. So we do the hardest content of Act 1 here, the totem. Let's do it. Let's do it. Random stone treaders from a trash mob, okay. Why not, right? Why not? Actually, this is an easy spawn, right? I think it's an easy spawn, yeah. Seems like an easy spawn so far. Not, not enough golems, right? Did I say Slough Lab? <laughs> no, fuck that, dude. <laughs> We're not going to the Slough Lab. Why <clears throat> viable? <laughs> Why able? Yo, Tornado, work on, work on. The link to more RCs on Discord? Nice, thank you. Not enough charging? Yeah, we're not charging enough. Dale's X series has amazing tracks. Alright. By the way, should I start playing the solo self hunt character on Monday or Wednesday? Like, I mean, I was glad we will need more time for this, and also like I still have to like do some stuff on the purifier, right? But I kind of want to play the SSF Witchblade as well. Transistor, I was saying. Mm, not sure actually. Ah, I've been expecting you, human. Yo, Cancroft Colonel, welcome on, welcome on. Thanks for the Prime, man. Welcome on, welcome on. Thank you for your support. How are you doing? Also, seized. Welcome on, welcome on. Alright, um. To this guy, right? Been there, done that. Seventy-five. We can actually change boots now, right? I mean, pants rather. Change pants. Oh, we didn't kill Milton Hart. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Good work. There have been Good work. Okay, let's change pants. Let's change to uh, the same pants, but mythical, right? Or like empowered rather. My PS dress is still horrible. Holy shit! 
called it Soul Bounce, though. <clears throat> hmm. How do I even fix that? Speak at last. Your tornado, thanks for the photos, one. First sentence heard, let's change pants. Yeah, typical rector stream mode. <laughs> welcome on, Migok. Welcome on, welcome on. The went to original Sim 2 as nice OC2. Alright. Thanks for the content, watching now and then, and love your YouTube content. Keep it up, mate. Yeah, thanks for watching as well. Glad you like it. Thank you for the support again. I was playing Grim Dawn from the beginning, just right now. And right now just have a chill time. I'm gonna play Reign of Terror mod, but just newer did mortal build, because newer find the items for mortal. I mean plus one plus two. I have 38 100 creatures. By the way, nice to see content creators. Yeah, welcome in man. Um thanks for watching as well. Um So did you actually already play Rain of Terror or not? I kind of miss that part, I think. Everyone is spamming in music channel. I gotta read it though. I will read it after the stream. Yesterday you started Rain of Terror? Nice. How do you like it so far? My experience with Rain of Terror so far was, I would say, mixed. Um, it's a good mod, certainly, like, it's very, not very well done, but on the other hand, I, I'm not the, I'm not the biggest Diablo 2 fan, to be honest. I just like Rumped on more, I don't know. <clears throat> and, I mean, I have played Diablo 2, and I'm like, yeah. If I want to play Diablo 2, I just play Diablo 2, right? If I want to play Grom Dawn, I just play Grom Dawn. The two together, I mean, it's cool and it's really well done, I think. It's just... I don't know. Maybe not my cup of tea. One percent good, nine ten percent bad. No, 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 no. It's not that bad, dude. Stop trolling. It's, like, actually really good. It's just, like, I personally don't like it as much. Too much Diablo in the mob? Mm, I don't know. I feel like I just I like vanilla Diablo 2 more than the Reign of Terror mod. It's like it's not that it's like too much Diablo. I don't know. I mean, other people have been enjoying it a lot as well, so like, it's not that I'm like... I don't know, like, maybe my judgement is scuffed on the mod. Maybe I haven't, like, played it properly. Maybe I'm just, like, salty because I died on hardcore, right? <laughs> maybe I'm just salty, I don't know. Or maybe I'm, like... Maybe I'm just, like... The Nidia Mar mod too much compared to Reign of Terror. Like Nidia Mar is, in my opinion, a better mod than Reign of Terror. I mean, both are great. But I, if I had to personally choose, I would choose Nidia Mar over um, Reign of Terror. This is actually an upgrade right, for level eighty-two. Not the worst. <clears throat> The warden's defeat is a I pulled a Quint 69. Is a Died to the easiest boss. Or what? <clears throat> Why am I not talking to this guy? Hello? What am I doing? So you must hide before we Just wanna try it. Because everybody's talking about it. Maybe change person opinion about game in a game, like the other two in Grim Dawn. Yeah. Ah, it's, it's good, I think. It's just... 
don't don't let my judgment um, determine whether or not you're gonna like the mod or not. Play the mod yourself, like make your own picture on it. Judge the mod for yourself. I don't think he did, no. He never visited Grimdon again. Like, he played... He played Act 1, then like, Act 7, right? Up to, like, the second Bismir quest. Like, he didn't even get up to Vanguard, right? <laughs> and then he fucking died to... The Omega Easy Boss on normal, right? From the Bismarck quest line. And then he quit the game for good. He's a bad man. I mean, there should still be like a clip of it somewhere. I should I pick for mortal? Wait, what's what's mortal? That's like the part that I didn't understand. Because I think it's maybe like... It has maybe like a different name in your language, and you're translating it to mortal. But to me, I don't know what mortal is supposed to mean in that situation. Like, is it a class or a skill or... Or you mean mortal or trap? Oh, you mean a trap? Like what I'm using? Like this one? Mortal trap, you mean? This one? Or maybe you're talking about mortar trap, right? Uh, I'm just like playing standard fire devotions right now, so like. Um, Solas Witchfire, Magi, Torch, Rowan's Crown, right? Just playing uh, Mortar Trap. Yeah, Mortar with R in the end, right? <laughs> That's why I'm kinda confused. Does Divine Steel Holberg uh, aura punch yourself? Yes. It's a pretty good, decent uh, chest. It's kind of like Fate Weavers. It's very similar, it's a little bit more... Uh, and overall, it's, I'd say it's like a little bit worse. But it's um, kind of like a Fate Weavers as well, yeah. It's 14% increased HP, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Let's try to not die to Mucolos and Balthazar, right? Yeah, and, it, and it's a blueprint, right? If you get the blueprint, it's a very nice, like... Even budget chest to like use on pretty much any character. Gonna min max, I have a void projectile build now. Nice. No damage? Yeah. That's not the problem. Exactly, you found the problem. Police doesn't like fireworks. Maybe they like mortal traps. <laughs> I mean, I doubt they will. Oh, yeah, also, um, if you're like trying to play Mortal Trap in Rain of Terror as well, right? 
I don't know how easy it's gonna be for you to like get the soft hand, right? I basically rushed the soft hand on normal difficulty, right? To like uh, support my motor trap to have like three instead of um, only two, right? It's like a 33%, I mean 50% damage increase actually. So like the offhand is really, really strong. Peaceful bee killing music. Or wasp killing music rather. Oh, this should calm down. I still feel like we were missing in some damage, right? I mean, I only have. What is up? It's 21 points to motor trap right now. It's not that many. And I tried to like go for Oathkeeper stats as well, but like, I don't know. We still need like another 5 for the Guardians to be 3. Like to have 3 Guardians. Feels bad, man. No Dargon, Wookman, Wookman. How many hours of Ancient Grove shopkeeper spam do you think it will take you to get Unyielding of the Drangul Living Ring? I mean, it's literally anything between 1 and like 2000, right? Probably. Or even more. So, good luck. By the way, for Vitality Conjure leveling, is it better to use Blade Pox in my dagger or the Warring Swarm in my dagger? Uh, I would personally use the Bloody Pox dagger because, like, the Bloody Pox dagger also adds resistance to right? Wait, wait, which, which, um, which swarm dagger are you talking about? Are you talking about Bone Spike or something else? Because, like, I think Bone Blade is certainly better than Bone Spike. But maybe you're talking about something else. Yeah, okay, you are talking about Bone Blade then. I mean, Bone Spike and Bone Blade, yeah. Yeah, I want to go uh, Bone Blade. I would only go Bone Spike if you play Ravnus Earth. Yo, Hamilcar, welcome on, welcome on. Yeah, I found the trunks, yeah. Yo, loop and wrecked by league. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Saturday late stream? I mean, why not, right? Why not? Why not? I don't really have a schedule at the weekend, so... Why not, right? Why not? Mal, welcome on. Oh shit. Only not played has permanent avoid. Um, yes. I think so. I mean, it's literally only not played on Demolitionist, right? That have avoid at all. But, like, Demos is only on Blast Shield, so it's kinda. I mean, obviously not permanent.
Wrath of Tenebrous. Pretty cool chaos weapon, not gonna lie. Ancient Grove Shop spell. Uh, not like this. Are you still playing a league? Rector League? Or back to League? League of Legends? Or maybe even back to Grim Dawn, but I guess you're not playing outside of the season. Wait, did you even like play last season? And oil and state of decay too with your brother. Nice. No more Grim Dawn at the moment for you. Are you gonna play with season three? You should. I think you've like taken a long enough break, right? I mean, yeah, taking a break every now and then is certainly good. To do. My place is three, nice. It's kind of funny to play Mortar with Shieldbreaker. It's better than on Pyromancer, because like you can, additionally to like your um, movement augment right from your relic, you can also use Virus Smite to just like cut around and never get hit. I mean the don't get hit right strategy does actually like still work against like most of the mobs here in the main campaign. Like it starts to be more and more difficult later on. Where's the bubble? Oh, it's going down now. Bubble down. The <laughs> League of Legends one. Uh, you uninstalled it. <laughs> Did they break the game this season? Everything deals too much damage. Never had an identity. Ah, uh, mm -hmm, come on. Being copied cats from Dolta Hmm. I mean, some of them, yes, of course. But if they copied the identity, they still had an identity, right? Fun mode is broken, you can choose one out of three ults to replace one of your standard abilities. You had Kragas and you chose Rengar Ultimate. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like it's literally breaking in the game, yeah. I don't think that's just like a fun mode and nothing else. It sounds ridiculous. I wonder if you sound those spells, okay. 
I mean, having Rengar ultimate instead of Ignite, I mean, sounds like a fair trade, right? The card guy, Twisted Fate. Yeah, the card, like the pick a card guy, yeah, it's kinda cool. He's also like one of the like OG champs, like, it's kinda straightforward, right? Like the newer ones are, I don't know. I mean, some of the newer ones were like still really well made or like creative, but like some others are just, I don't know, man. <laughs> just a bit of the overload. Like everything has a dash, everything has invisibility, everything has, I don't know, like the newest champ for example, I don't know, it's kind of the... It looks like a disaster at least to me on paper. I've never like played them though, or like played against them though. And I'm not necessarily like talking about his revive allies on kill thing, right? I don't think that's like the broken ability. And that sounds broken at first, but like the more you think about it, it's not even... It's more like a... It's just like a win war mechanic. Which I don't really like, but... It's not that broken either. Oops. Where are we going? and Zhao with Olaf ult. Dude, you can like pick Olaf ultimate and pretty much anything, right? Any melee character, like just pick Olaf ultimate, right? What did I do here? Oh, my pants, I have boots, never mind. Like, Olaf ultimate is just really good on like pretty much any melee character. It's three random, you can... Uh, it's random, okay. And of course it is. It's a fun mode, right? So it wouldn't be fun if it wasn't random. I mean, if it wasn't random, like, you would have, like, nine all of ultimates in your team, or, like, in your and the enemy's team, right? Probably. Leave with J4 ult. It sounds so scuffed, but yeah, it's, it's fun for, like, some games, I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be fun for some games, for sure. Nazos should have all of the C immunity too. <laughs> I mean, it would be good for him, yes. Can we even play Nasus right now? Or is there just like too much CC in the game? Anyway, we have already done this one as well. Right? We have killed Cronley. Uh, we still haven't found this guy, but oh well. I don't, think, I don't think we're gonna do that quest. I mean, maybe we should do the quest together with the quest of the shopkeeper here, right? Because like having the second shopkeeper is really nice later on. Come, friend. Right to business. No way. Come, friend. Old hero, skill 1, stun and damage, skill 2, damage, skill 3, armor, ultimate, big damage. New hero, skill 1, yeah, yeah, like wall of text, wall of text, and like skill of text as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and like 69 debuffs. And like you can press it twice for like 2% more chance to have 7% more damage. Something like that, right? Yeah. Keep your weapon. Keep your weapon. 
Alors là, Oh shit. Ah oh, fuck me. Oh no. I fucked up. Wow. Oh my god. Walk of shame. <laughs> Not again, dude. Not again. This happened to me yesterday as well, I think. What the fuck? What's wrong with me? Why do I keep forgetting that I'm like putting person ports somewhere? It was at this moment that Rectus knew he fucked up. Yeah, exactly. At this moment, he fucked up. Exactly, exactly. I mean, it's not the longest of walks, unfortunately. Uh, not the longest of walks, but it's still fine. Let's get the... Mm, I fucked up again. <laughs> I didn't press my person port. Oh well. Read part number three as well. Let's get it. Get some XP. Dude, this music is so chill. I love it. The song is one of the best stuff you like from the entire RST. What's the name of this one? The Cliftlands. Let's rewind it. Yeah, I agree. You think it's also like the best? I mean, I don't really know the tracks that well. But like, so far, I think it's the best, actually. Yo, day walker, Walkman, Walkman. You played Octofund for 17 hours and then you read it because you didn't, you couldn't refund after 17 hours anymore. Or what did you regret? What did you regret playing that game? <coughs> Second favorite. There is one more that's even better. It was a trap, it's 59.99. I mean, if you divide it by your playtime, right, then it sounds like a scam. Like, compared to Grimona list. But then again, uh, getting as much value out of your money as you can with ARPGs is, like, kinda hard. But it's kind of unfair to compare those two genres, I guess. What kind of genres Octopath throughout or even? Just like a standard RPG, or...? Never played the game. Like a JRPG, I guess. Turn based JRPG, okay. A weep RPG, basically. I oh, mean, no, no, obviously. I feel like some JRPGs are like really good. But like, most are just grindy and weird. Some are like really, really good. Overall, a very average game, but great soundtrack. Alright, alright. Anybody checked out the Monster Hunter Pokemon game? Wait, the new Monster Hunter game is not like an expansion, it's like a different game or what? 
in a different mood. I have no idea about games. You might be able to tell them. I only know Grim Dawn. <laughs> JRPG has a genre is very love or hate. Mm, my god, I'm dying. Holy shit. What's going on? Why am I dying? Uh, we can't, we can't um, sustain the constitution when the mortars are dealing damage, right? Can I become mod timeout Dargon? Timeout Dargon fund? Keep slapping you. Slap. Just report him to like Twitch slapping for this, right? And he will be detained. Yo, are enough. Let's what a final work on, work on. Also, don't listen to Naomi. You have a lot of hours in there and Octopath Traveler. What, what, what do you do in that game, even? Turn-based? Like, turn-based combat? Like, Final Fantasy? Combat? Like, old-school Final Fantasy combat, or...? It's like Final Fantasy VI, but worse story. I don't even remember which one I played. I played like one Final Fantasy in my life. I don't know which one though. I only played one though. It was like on PlayStation as well, like on PlayStation 1. It might have been like 7 or 6, I don't know. Or maybe like an even, even older one. Uh, which faction should I pick as a conjurer in Forgotten Gods? Does it really matter? Mmm. I mean, it doesn't matter that much in the end. However, the faction that you will choose... I mean, you will get like reputation with all of them. Like, all of them will, will like you. However, the one that you choose will like you even more. So you're gonna like get the augments... Like, you're gonna get basically like, reputation for the one that you chose quicker than the other two. So, like, you can check out the items that they give you, right? And... Uh, you can like choose maybe the one that you like more, right? Depending on like which kind of items and augments they can give you later. Also, if you were like on your first playthrough, right, and it's like the first time you choose a faction. Um, keep in mind that the second you like choose one of the three, you will already be at like the first. Like, you will already be friendly with the one that you choose, and you're not gonna be friendly with the other two, right? The other two are gonna be, like, down here with reputation, and the first one that you choose is gonna be at friendly, right? Which means that you can already, like, talk to the Quartermaster, and then, like, get the rune augments, like, the, the movement augments, like this one, for example, from the faction Quartermaster of the faction that you chose. So, like, what I'd also like to do is, um, you check out the movement augments, right? before you choose and then like you basically like look at what you want to play right and then you choose the faction 
depending on which movement augment you want to play on it. But I mean, you can like re-choose on higher difficulties anyway, do like different quest lines and so on and so on, right? So it doesn't really like matter that much in the end, like which one you choose. Ah, you speak at last. <laughs> Yo, what a lol. <laughs> 11 in chat. Thanks for the follow, man. Welcome on, welcome on. You liked Oct Octopath Reveler a lot. Dude, I don't like my dodge though. It's like the one thing that I don't like right now, honestly. Like, I don't like my dodge, and I don't like that I have to like run around in circles like literally all the time right now. Like, what is happening here? I mean, I know my armor was a sex because of low hurt set. But like, I feel like this was way smoother on Rune of Color Store that than compared to what I'm playing right now, right? Yo, yeah, well, hi, hi. Welcome on, welcome on. I actually started Grim Dawn because of one of my guides. Nice. Thanks for watching, man. Also, welcome on, welcome on. Thanks for stepping by as well. We're gonna enjoy your stay here as well as on YouTube watching my videos. And also, yeah, like. <laughs> speed leveling and. <laughs> Come on, we're just still doing okay, right? It's. It's, uh. What, 3 hours 47 minutes to 81? Not that bad, but yeah, it's certainly worse than what I've played sometimes in past, right? And it's not Cocktail, it's not like Canister Bomb, right? Those are certainly better than what I'm doing right now. Oh my god, I'm dying here. I was like literally dead here if I like charge in that. Um, yep. You predict a rep before 94? Do you wanna bet? Do you wanna gamble? Gamble your blooms? Should we do it? Let's do it. You can gamble away your blooms if you want to. To whom will I die? To a totem maybe? I'm gonna click every totem right? To make it more interesting. I'm gonna click every single totem that I was seeing. I'm not gonna, not gonna like go for locks. I'm just gonna speed level the way I usually do. Like do all totems, but like don't chase locks or stuff like that. 
Where did all the void projectiles go? They're all on ballistic plating in the chest, kappa. <laughs> you can't get to 100% without Inquisitor's Seal? Lol. I mean, just play Inquisitor's Seal then, right? Like, why not? Like, um, Infiltrator then. Permanent and Seal. It's not bad, right? It's not bad. Alright, we can rip to this guy, for example. We can rip to Icrix. Like, Anoronica, you can. And you can rip to the poison on the ground here, because it's dealing physical damage for some reason. Physical poison, right? Yo, amazing Loki, welcome, welcome. Uh, we're gonna go set again. Yet again. You got a feeling that lightning mortar trap deals more damage? I'll give you good price of what I've got left. Are there like items for it there? Like, while leveling? I've looked at like leveling items for Locut, I mean for Mortal Trap, right? There's nothing. Right? There's just nothing. Apart from the soft hand. Uh, it's like so badly supported by leveling, I feel like. I don't know. Uh, what are you talking about? Pyro versus Shipbreaker? On, on which build there? <clears throat> we went with Vanish, seemed cool. Yeah. I mean, Vanish is one of the... Uh, I mean, it's probably like the best for like speed running uh, and also like for speed leveling if you're like doing a proper speed leveling <laughs> not like a kind of scuffed speed leveling that I'm doing right now right? if you're like playing proper speed leveling skills then Vanish is like the best for like speed right but you can't really like use it defensively it's like the big downside do a wield blaze art. Oh, you mean like fire strike, like melee fire strike? And you're debating she breaker versus pyromancer. Hmm. I mean, the weapon has chaos to fire conversion, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of on the pyromancer side right now. At least in my mind. Uh, I'm gonna re apply the XP potion, right? <laughs> yeah, on the man, yeah. <laughs> Daily tribute. Welcome, my man. How are you? <laughs> Daily sacrifice has been made. Are you uh, are you guys still having fun in Burning Crusade? Uh, you and Malagant?
bit too far as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know, like... I would probably go... Pyromancer, yeah. Seems like so good. Like, all oh, the conversion, right? You can, like, take Bant anywhere on top, right? I don't know. I mean, Shipbreaker is overall, like, a very good class, though. Like, it's very, very good. Pyromancer was, like, a worse class, but... Blazard really lo does make uh, Pyromancer look very... very appealing. Yep, got rank 3 on a boss now week. Nice. Congrats, congrats. Hopping hard. Many scrubs. Many scrubs in your guild. And just, just carry them, right? Just carry the scrubs. Oh my god, no damage build. ZDPS. <laughs> like the mortars and guardians. While leveling. Wait, where are the guardians even? Oh, no wonder I'm doing no damage. Holy shit. Oh. Waiting for next raid. I'm lacking one item for my full best in slot build. Nice, nice. What are you even playing, by the way? I know Malagan is playing like a warrior, but what are you playing? Eddie Shaman. Oh, nice. Wow, TBC Doc Leave. <laughs> the Paying Crusade. The Pay to Boost Crusade. And it's on top 3 damage, not down. I'm going to link by Thomas Sun. Do you, do you mind waiting until 94? Are you gonna have more time or should we do it right now? We don't have to talk to these guys, we already know what to do. Right? I'm okay waiting, okay. Uh, that's gonna be like a five and a half hour leveling, I think, right? Which is actually quicker than Color Store, but it's just quicker than Color Store because we like wasted like an hour almost like farming. What's it called? Like the Flame Strife, which I didn't even need. Put her. No, 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 this damage. How's Bandits on TPC by the way? Is Mage as OP as in the or less OP? I have no idea about Val. I literally never played that game. And I probably never will either. I only know that like Mages in Vanilla are like OP OP. TP is just Omega lol. PvP and MMOs, Omega lol. What draw number right now is this? Must be 100 soon? Dude, I don't even know anymore. I mean, I can check, I guess, after this one is done. But yeah, 100 chars with all the ones that already died? I mean, maybe, yeah. Be like char number 100 already. And with all the seasonal characters as well, right? All the league characters. Probably not. Ah, uh, it's this one? Not your favorite? Wait. 
I thought you were talking about your favorite one earlier. What do you mean? This is the one favorite one that's not your favorite. Huh? I don't understand. Wait, is this like your favorite one or not your favorite one? I don't understand. Mechanics in a game, what? I mean, yeah, the more people know stuff, like the easier the content gets as well. I also like it's way. I mean, of course, like during TBC, it was already like easy to like look up stuff at the end, like look up stuff at, in the internet, right? But I feel like nowadays people like do it even more, and like looking up stuff and like guides online, etc. Like everything has been like way more streamlined compared to like back in the old days, right? I mean, this is the one. I do like it, but it's not your favorite. Probably third or fourth. Favorite, okay, okay. What about this one? This one's not too bad either. By the way, Toma, I don't want any spoilers, but are you working on new music for the next season? Do you know what the right answer is gonna be? The right answer should be... Perhaps, right? Perhaps? Perhaps? Alright, we should do like full clear of Tyrant Soul tier. Like at least full quest clear because... Yeah, quests and ultimate are... Why would I have so fast in the first place? Diablo 3 private server. Yeah, she 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 wants to like play fucking Diablo 3 1.0 since like two weeks already. She even bought a PS3 to be able to like play 1.0.0.2 Diablo 3. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I don't know. <laughs> It's just... I'm sorry, like, if it wasn't so funny, I wouldn't be bullying so much, but it's so fucking funny. <laughs> A lot of girls like to be masochistic. Yeah, I mean, literally everybody told her to like not fucking 
buy a PS3 to buy Diablo 3 1.0, <laughs> but I mean, she couldn't be stopped. She couldn't be stopped. There she is, playing Diablo 3 in it, on the PS3. Real money auction house. You missed the PC refunded? Oh, come on. You would miss the money more. Fuck. Maybe. Oh my god, you got children by this guy, which doctor? bought us PS3 once, but that was three years, I mean nine years ago. Mm. Alright, been there, done that. Did all of this crap as well. Let's go to homes. That actually, no, we don't go to Homestead, we go to Gulch first and then we go, go, go to Homestead. Right? First, we always get Agram, right? fetch Agram. Talk to this guy as well, Koda. So, how doomed are we? <laughs> yeah, my old uh, PS2 from like 15. No, like probably 17 years ago, still is working as well, but... I mean... It's kind of old, and like, I don't really use it anymore. I kind of miss the... The time frame... When you could like sell them for... Proper money. I wasn't sure you'd Legion is split on Alright, 15 points there, let's just get um, probably more away here, and presence of virtue, right? Or maybe max out ascension as well. Wouldn't be too bad. Get more defense, right? Get more absorption. We got a build with 100% avoid projectiles, 59% melee dodge, 2.7k cold dodge. 131% RR with Viper. No, no, without Viper, you don't you don't ever count Viper. Um, all right, seems good. Don't you ever count Viper? That's kind of Viper is literally like zero against most enemies. So I can only match against like actually high res enemies, right? Oh, not counting what they Oh, without. Wait, didn't you? You said with. Well, yeah. but you corrected yourself. Okay. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Without weapon. Okay. Yo, third eye shooter, welcome, welcome. On. What is my native language? I mean, you can take a guess if you want to. But I mean, my accent is pretty, pretty bad, right? So you should be able to tell. I guess. I look French, cop. <laughs> I'm still a little low, right? Must be Russian. Monkas. White. Why is, why is Russian Monkas? My binary. My, my native language is binary code. I wish, dude, I wish. That would actually be Pog. Like, imagine it. It would make things easier. Like, some things at least. My accent isn't really that bad. I mean, it's not like bad, bad, but you can like still like, tell where I'm from, I guess, if you like. Pay for attention. But I guess it's also like kind of hard sometimes because I do have like a Scandinavian touch as well. 
It's also a little bit of a mix. You can hear it, but it's not that thick. Not that thick. <laughs> no thick accent. No yoke. <laughs> yeah. Are you joking? What do you mean? Are you joking? What class does speedrun to ultimate act 4? Dungeon. Ska vi göra dungeon? Dungeon? <laughs> um, I don't know. What, what, what do you mean? What class does speedrun to ultimate act 4? Like any. Just do whatever you want to. You figured I'm Mexican? Either German or Swedish slash Danish? Dude, you couldn't have been more correct. I'm German, but I have lived in Sweden for some time of my life. So yeah, I have like a Swedish... Like a small touch of Swedish accent in there maybe as well. But yeah, I'm German. Yeah, I mean, perfect. Perfect guess if they're a shooter. Literally perfect guess, actually. And you win, um, I guess, nothing, but hey, I mean, it's the perfect guess. Uh, what class can start an ultimate? I mean... Wait, is that what Stan asked as well? Swedes do speak perfect English though. Culturally very, very rich. I mean... They, they, they do speak very good English, but they also have a very distinct accent. That's uh, mostly when they say like... The j sound, like they don't really say the j sound, right? they always say a j sound sound. Like, are you joking? They say, are you joking? Instead of, are you joking? I mean, if they, like, let their accent flow, you know? It's not like everybody who's like a Spanish, I mean a uh, Spanish, a Swedish naked speaker uh, doesn't know how to like properly say joking. I mean, of course, many people do know how to like properly say it. But it's. Oh my god, dude. The poison. Go away, please. Thank you. They can't say J, yeah. Because, like. The J letter is like a E letter, like a Y kind of in their language. I mean, it's a little bit similar in German as well, actually. But in German, the Y letter is like the J sound, so. Like, basically, in German compared to English, like J and Y are like switch around. Like, J is like Y and Y is like J. So, like, if you write yes, and if a German like pronounces that the German way, then it would be Jess, right? Jess. Instead of yes. And like if we were to like write yes the way we pronounce it we would write it with a J, right? Yeah, like yes, exactly like that. <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> Gerald. It's fucking blocked, oh shit, I need one more. Alright, alright. Uh, which one did I miss? I mean, one of the two, doesn't matter which one, I just missed one. Inixil, I guess. Gerard, quick. Gerard. Chair, chair out. Wait, did I miss the other guy as well? Oh my god, really? Why are they hiding? I also speak German and lived near the border to Denmark a few years. Oh, nice. Wait, so you're Danish?
or how the Swedish would say, "Är du en dansk jävel?" Uh, one can see that you are a Grand veteran doing those quests perfectly. Yeah, yeah. I oh, know, like it's flawless, right? Flawless quests here. Flawless questing. Yeah, yeah. Flawless questing. Don't mind me. Uh, I'm stuck. Step bro, help, I'm stuck. Step queen. <laughs> Step rub. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh my god, the rocks. Rocks, yep. Dude, Ravna's literally a step step queen in it. Like sh throwing rocks at you as well. We're 34, Chrome Dawn. I don't know, I've, I've actually not checked yet. Maybe I should. I mean, according to rule 34, it should be a thing, right? Haven't checked yet, cup. I mean, I've actually not checked yet. Should I check right now on stream? <laughs> She's a mother. She's a mother of many. I mean, that's what most insect queens are, right? Where do I live in Germany? Um. I can give you my address, right? Just kidding. No, I'm, I'm from Bavaria. In the south. Southeast. Cox. Oh, come on, I could have followed as well. Address Monkers? Yeah. You can have my bank account as well, right? No problem. No problem. Dude, this music like makes you click items quicker when you sell actually. You wanna like click in the beat trend. Click with the beat. Exclamation mark only fans on Snapchat. Plasma Strike also almost like made me get Snapchat finally because like you and Plasma are like snapping it to each other right? every now and then. And like he told me about that and I was like, yeah, maybe I should actually get it. I still haven't gotten it though. All day, every day? Yeah, all day, every day, right? All day, every day. Like, once a month, I know, but... Like, once a year, probably. <laughs> but still. <laughs> From Darmstadt? Nice. That's nice. Yeah, it's like still... Uh, Württemberg, right? Like, at the Rhine. Almost, uh, almost Hessen, right? Not quite. It's Hessen already? Wait, is it already Hessen? I don't know. I always fuck up that region of the of, of the map. Like Hessen, 
Baden Württemberg, I don't know, it's like. At least, like, when it comes to this, like, northern area of uh, Württemberg or, like, southern Hessen area. It's like one part of the Rhine is like this, the other part of the Rhine is that. I don't know. It's, it's confusing. For my, Bavar Bav for my Bavarian brain, right? Like, we don't know any neighbors. What is this? We're like our own country, right? Kappa. <laughs> At least not Offenbach. <laughs> I've heard like only good things about Offenbach Cup. Attack, why no burn the witch? Burn the witch, what? It's Hessen? Yeah, my bad. My bad. Oh my god. I'm not very good with like German geography to be honest. I mean I was actually good at geography like in school as a kid, but like I don't know. I'm not that well with Germany, like not that well within Germany I guess. When will I get Grim Dawn 2? When you apply for place that when you apply for playtesting, right? When they see you as a playtester for Grim Dawn 2, they're gonna be hell yeah, let's just do it instantly. Right? Alright, I said we're gonna do all the totems right, no matter how deadly they are, so let's do it. Ah, uh, it's not even that rapid, right? No arcane, no, no swift, no time warped. There's one more down here. Okay, we're gonna do the one down there as well then. Did I find the farmers? No, not yet. I got four... No. Five... Wait, which one is it? This one. Oh, we got five, right? Okay, we got five with the insignias. We gotta kill Bolvar if I haven't already. And here are the farmers, actually. Time warp is the worst shot. The thing is, like, while leveling, I feel like the Swift one is also really bad, actually. Because, like, Swift speeds up, like, everybody around him, right? And you're playing low car, right? Uh, uh, you don't wanna face thing anything. At least not when you, like, play without any healing either. Like, motor trap. I also have still 53% I mean, pure stress. Pierce Rust is optional, right? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. Demo's cheating? Wait, why is Demo cheating now? Because of Blast Shield? Because of Mortars? Everything is optional, just don't get hit? Yeah. Exactly, right? Exactly. Blast shit, OP, OP. I mean, yeah. I remember the difference between a druid and a sorcerer when you fight Fabius, right? I guess the difference is called Blast Shield. Or the difference is called uh, getting hit, right? Not quite sure which one was the actual difference then. I remember. I remember. Remember? Are you gonna play season 3? No manual. Season 3 hardcore solo set found.
Only a purifier had blast shield. Yeah, I know that. I mean, my current one seems to have blast shield. The other ones that I played before didn't have blast shield for some reason. I don't know. Alright, another totem. Actually, we forgot the one. Oops, I, I forgot one. Okay, here we got swift, right? Oh my god, yeah, we got swift. Just level up, lol. <laughs> also, where are my clusters, dude? Cluster is cheap. Is it there? Swift rip. You gotta go to the store close in 23 minutes. Alright, dude. Happy running. And yeah, we, we actually forgot about one totem here, right? This one that we over here. I'm only gonna backtrack here because of the. I mean, like, generally you shouldn't backtrack like this, but I'm gonna backtrack here because of the um, bet that we're have, like, that we have on right now, right? Hide in the store and eat the food in the night. Nice. And I said I'm gonna, like, click on all the totems. So, let's click on this one as well. Blast shield is down, Monka. Should we wait for Blast Shield? Ah, oh, this one was easy anyway, right? No Act 6 or 7 or 5 mobs, right? Actually, the Obsidian guys did pierce damage though, and they have 53% pierce rest, so um, those could be actually scary though. How about we do a Celeste Totem? How about we don't do anything fancy that I don't do when I'm usually speed leveling either? It's like saying, how about we do Locksmere, right? Like, come on, dude. But you said you're gonna do all the Totems. Actually, a lock smear would be sick. Sick. Double K. Nice. Just get pierce runs? Yeah, just get it, right? Just get it. If you're watching at home, right? Like, just get it. So, why am I not leveling with that? What do I have scuffed devotions? Like really scuffed devotions? Actually scuffed devotions? Pierce rest potion? <laughs> it's like the one thing that doesn't exist actually. This is not pierce rest though, right? Fuck. There's pierce rest over here and here and here, but that's for axes only. And here. Poison Rust, Vit Rust, do I need a Poison Rust? I mean... I could actually... Actually... Right. I could just play Throne, I guess, for some Pierce Rust. Then what? Play this. I mean, why not, right? Why not? So, 61% at least. We're still basically taking like double damage from Pierce, right? It is kind of risky to play like this. You don't do Locksmith while leveling, is that even legal? Is that even legal? Can he nullify XP pots still? He can't, right? 
I hope it has Pierce with weapon or not. Oh yeah, true actually, true. I mean, you can get it after Keras, right? Alright, Zarya incoming. Imagine dying to Zarya though, right? Where are the crystals? Spawn your crystals, maybe? Oh, there they are. Kinda late. I mean, Zarya still does the debuff, right? She has like insane RR. I don't know, like the, the Chaos damage, I mean, to a certain degree also like Vitality scaling, but like the Chaos scaling in specific is kind of weird in this game, right? Like you don't need any Chaos Rust basically, like all the way from Act 1 to Act 3, unless you do like Depraved Sanctuary, right? I am told I can, when the Legion was forced to and, um, why am I going back here? Oh yeah, the Augment only, right? I don't care about anything else. And uh, once you go to Blood Grove though, right, it starts to ramp up. Like, you don't even need 8%, you need more than 80% from for like, 0%, right? Like, before Blood Grove, you need 0%, basically. And then, like, once you're in... Like, Blood Grove, right? You will need, like, 120%, 110%, something like that, right? It's kind of crazy. Zeri, oh yeah, yeah. Alright, we got 8% PS rest now with the proc, right? Without the proc, it's I think. 77, though, right? Yeah, 77. Alright, good enough. We only take like 15% more damage now, right? Compared to 100% more damage. And yeah, I mean, Pierce is a pretty rare damage shot. Arcane. And it's dead. Yeah, it's uh, Octopath Traveler. Like the, the game Octopath Traveler. It's the 
OST von der Skyrim. Ja. So many colors. Is this PUE or what? Alright, five more levels to go. Should we do a skip? Let's skip, right? We can skip. We got a metal weapon. Just get a vanished metal and we skip. Why do you have to let's I've already You're here with a cult Because last time I kinda of forgot to skip actually. Professional speedrunner. My ass, right? Um So what do you need to skip? I mean, you need a medal with Vanish or a similar ability to skip. Then you need what? You need to go to Darkvale Gate and you need to have the next Rift Gate already unlocked. Then also need to have like enemies that live down here, which we don't have anymore, right? So let's just actually reset here real quick after handing in the remaining quests here. I will have to like repot another potion anyway later, so like I think uh, reloading here is not the worst. Also, why the fuck is my cam so fucked up again? Hello. Yo, faded Odyssey, welcome, welcome. Alright, we got this quest line and let's hand in this quest over here as well. I don't know. And now we reset. I wanna do these quests like really quick as well, like they are actually triggering me. 50 pixel camera pog. <laughs> Smuggler chat, skip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Smuggler one doesn't always work for me though, you know, it's kind of weird. Wait, we checked these two and we didn't get the... What the fuck was I doing when I went here? You always get to wall wreck though. I mean, that's true, that's true, that's true. You are right about that one. Alright, where's Milton? Why is he hiding? Ah, I okay. speak at last. Yo, Heart of the Tiger. Welcome in, welcome in. To the photo. Broken Hill saves way more though. Hmm. I can see that, yeah. I'll give you good price of what I've got left. 
Does like anything save more than Asako and Road though? I feel like Asako and Road, if I like, get the double skip, right, it's just, it's just the best, right? Probably. Okay, so we reset here to where we summon the mobs in the Dark Way Gate, right? Yo, car dog, welcome on, welcome on. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got enemies like down here now, right? Over here. Uh, we equip the metal that has Vanish. Put Vanish like over here. We open up the map, right? We have our cursor here. And now we vanish to these guys and then click on this, right? You can also like press pause in between, right? Like this. Makes it easier. And then we just zoom around. Imagine doing Asakan roll, right? I mean, this area is kind of empty anyway, so like, it doesn't really matter if you skip it or not. Well, let's drink the experience spot, right? Where is it? There it is. Oh, that's actually the double. Ah, oh, that's the perfect one. All right, and we have arrived at. Let's get the other medal again, right? We have arrived at Asakan Valley. This is good. Oh my God! What a cheater! Reported. Asterokan Duriftu. Asterokan, Asterokan Duriftu, right? And let's drop the portal here as well. Fuck, I fucked up there. Actually, the portal doesn't do anything because I fucked up uh, questline. Um, the comments chosen questline actually is fucked up. I should have went for the Fort Heron first before doing here, like before going here, like before doing the skip. Oh well, oh well. Yo, shell power, workman, workman. Peaceful music today, yeah. Um, chat has been complaining about that. Like, I'm always listening to the same music, right, on stream. So we're like still listening to white bad audio every now and then, but not every stream anymore. Doing like a couple of other. Mostly like game OSTs in between. And I mean, you can't really like properly speed level with water trap anyway, so. It's like chill leveling, right? Chill speed leveling. I mean, there's still like 4 hours 41 minutes up to level 90. Not too bad, actually, not too bad. We could get like a sub 530 still, right? <coughs> I don't think sub 5 hours is gonna be possible because, like, the last 4 levels actually do take quite a long time. Now we don't have a date for the new patch. Now you can play the new patch already if you want to, right? 
playtest. If you write exclamation mark patch, right, you can actually like playtest the new patch already. But the official official release, um, I mean, we only have like this year. <laughs> That's basically it. And I mean, the patch is mostly just balance anyway, right? Like, there's no like big 1.10 patch coming, right? We're still at 1.1.9, and then like 0.2 is gonna be the next patch, right? Mostly just like balancing, right? They have kind of like stopped with bigger recounted patches. Going mortar for endgame? Nah. Um, if you write exclamation mark build, it's gonna be a weird one. Alright, you got. Uh, It's gonna be a weird one. Upcoming shield breaker. May the light. It's gonna be something I haven't seen yet. It was something requested by chat in a way because like chat requested make a build around acid granado, right? And usually I mean I always like only fear craft them and then like give chat this um, the link but this one like unironically looked so wonky but still good on paper that I just want to play it myself but yeah it's a weird one retaliation dance game I mean yeah it's retaliation but it's Acid retaliation on a shield breaker. So that's still pretty interesting, I would say. Yeah, one of Grimdon is their biggest game. I mean, it's literally their only game. Like, Crate only owns Grimdon, nothing else. It's, it's literally their only game. Um, they will make new games though. Uh, there's actually one more game coming up actually this year. Coming out this year, right? Final Frontier. It's kind of like a town builder with optional combat, maybe like something like Banished. Something like that, right? Um, they do not own the rights on Titan Quest. Like, Titan Quest is a different company. I mean, they have basically like used the code of Titan Quest for their engine, but it's still like a different thing, right? And I mean, they are the former creators of Titan Quest, like former programmers, etc. Right, of Titan Quest, but they don't own the rights to Titan Quest. So Titan Quest is not their game. Aren't they hiring for a horror game or something? Yeah, yeah. Um, so they have like three projects right now, right? They have Fire Frontier. Former creators, yeah. Um, they have Final Frontier, right, which is coming out this year. It's a town builder with optional combat. I presume it's something like Banished in a way. Um, then they have an RTS. They've actually confirmed, like, not that long ago, right? I mean, I can show you, right, where is it? They've confirmed that they're working on an RTS in the Grim Dawn universe. Right over here. You see this? After much back and forth, this is Madeira, this is the owner, like the the, the lead designer, owner of Create Entertainment basically. After much back and forth, we have decided to set an RTS in Cairn. It's pre Grim Dawn though, so no ethereals, although there might be some Chthonic elements. We wanted to give it a more historical civilization feel, but with fantasy elements. Since I think straight history is kind of Im limiting in terms of what you can come up with for interesting units and abilities. So in, so in terms of setting, it will be more like Age of Empires, but with more magic and fantasy units, alongside more traditional army units. In terms of gameplay feel, it will be a lot more, or like a bit more towards StarCraft 2. And that's great. I mean, Midiria himself is literally like, he's like playing StarCraft 2 non-stop, <laughs> as far as I know. Like whenever he's like not working, he's just playing StarCraft 2. 
And so that's that at least looks promising. And there was like another post where he said like yeah the game will also have like three factions at least. That's pretty decent. Karen RTS, yeah. And the third project, right, is the survival slash horror game. And that is the project of Grava Thua, right? Like Grava and uh, what's the other guy called again? Iboria, right? These guys are working on the horror game, right? Survival horror game. And if you want to check this out, this thread, right? Uh, where is it? There, yeah, there we go. I mean, Grab of was pretty much horror himself, right? The Nemesis is pretty horror, so. Um, makes sense that he's like working on the horror game. Esports ready? Karen RTS, esports ready? I mean, maybe, right? I mean, I just hope it's gonna be better than Dawn of War 3. But I mean, that's not like a high bar, right? And RTS is better than Dawn of War 3, it's like literally not that hard to make. You wanna support trade, but RTS nor town builders aren't your style. Horror game might be more your style. Right? I mean,. I think overall it's a good decision that they try to like go a little bit more wide, right? They were gonna go like white people happy, right? That's good. Um, I mean, for example, I love RTS and Tomb Builders. I don't really like horror games that much. I mean, some are good, but most of them are just, I don't care. Um, but I mean, yeah, there's like something in there for everybody, right? And then, hopefully, like after those games, they start like working on Grand Dawn 2, right? Like at least after Final Frontier is done, right? They will have like some more like resources again. So I presume they are gonna like start working on Grand Dawn 2, whatever like Final Frontier is out, or maybe like another game as well. So like probably they're gonna start like next year, hopefully. Diablo 3 is a horror game. I mean, technically on Twitch, right, Grim Dawn is a horror game as well. I don't know why it's a horror game, but... I mean, I guess there's a, like, I mean, if you, like, follow lore, right, like, if you follow, like, lore play, um... Like, lore notes, like, what's it called? Way, I mean, Trip South, right, and... The Bathhouse and other stuff, right, I mean, yeah, there, there's some horror in this game for sure. But like if you play this like any other RTS, then you like don't even realize it that well. You have to like play with zoomed in camera and like first person mode to like actually feel the horror. It's like horrible aether restaurant. Oh my god, I'm gonna die here. Ah, uh, maybe not. Ah, maybe not. Please don't kill me. Okay. The graphics are so horrible, you almost rejoiced. <laughs> toxic. Holy shit, so toxic. The graphics aren't that bad in my opinion. I don't know what you guys have. Like. And also, like, you can't turn the camera up, right? you can't zoom in. Like, what do you want, right? I don't know. When you will die in hardcore, it's pure horror. It's gonna be one of those what? How moments, right? <laughs> what? How? Mark pants. Are oh, you looking for that one clip? 
I don't have a command for it, but maybe... I mean, if Adios was here, right, he would've, like, clipped it, I mean, linked it instantly. Pants clip. Smash mark Adios. Summon Adios. I mean, depends, right? Like, depends on the tools that you have. Like, creating more stuff in the game can be easy if, like, the tools are well made, right? Like, even good looking stuff can be easy to make if, like, the tools are great. If the, if the presets are already, like, super good, right? Then you don't have to, like, do that much work anymore. Even if it's, like,. High quality graphics room. Uh, we gotta be careful like to not get trapped in a bad position here against these guns. These watchers. Gargantuans. Alright. You find out a good metaphor on how Grim Dawn graphics look like. It's as if somebody had nice looking graphics, then somebody printed out the graphics on a shitty cardboard and scanned it again. What? I mean, okay. These textures of the skulls down here, they don't look that good. I agree. I mean, those actually look like that. Those actually look like exactly what you described. But everything else is pretty good, I don't know. I like it more than PUE. Like, I don't know. I know PUE, I guess, looks objectively better. To me, it doesn't look better. I don't know what it is with PUE, but like... It's just... Like, why are all the elites, for example, like, yellow or red? Like, why? It's just... Unnecessary coloring. It's like, I don't know, it's, it's like too bright and it's not even like a good, like there are some games that like do lightning and like colors very, very, very good I feel like. And I would say neither Grim Dawn nor PoE do it very well. But since like Grim Dawn is more subtle with coloring than PoE, I don't mind it as much in Grim Dawn, like I think Grim Dawn is fun. Maybe I don't like like super colorful games, I don't know. Like, to me, Grim Dawn, color is, like, perfect. It just needs, like, better graphics. But, like, the colors are fine, like, nothing's too flashy here. Enemies don't flash, or, like, or, like yellow or green or stuff like that, right? The only color in Grim Dawn is brown. Yo, Booty Juice, thanks for the photo book, man. What are you even talking about? Like, do, do you see my screen? How is it only brown? It's like, this is already like too flashy for me. <laughs> and Pewee is like three times as flashy as this what I'm playing right now, right? The environment? I mean, it's a tomb. Like, what do you expect from a tomb? Like, this, this is an abandoned fort, like... What do you want an abandoned fort in the Victorian area to like look like? I don't know. I think it's perfect. I mean, even if gameplay is obviously the more important part, graphics always do matter, and like... I mean, like, look at this banner, right? like, it's glorious. Like, do you want this to be more flashy? It's not needed in my opinion, it's perfect. And like common sanctuary. Like a chapel inside a 
like a refuge, chapel, hybrid thing carved inside a mountain. I mean, sure, rocks are gonna be brown, but like, the carpet's still blue here. It's not like flashy blue, but you can see that it's like purple bluish. I don't know, it fits perfect, I think. Diablo 2 Remaster looks too drab and uncolored. Dude, like Diablo 2 compared to Grim Dawn and like Diablo 2 Unremastered, it's already like too flashy. <laughs> in my opinion. I don't know, like do those people like only play Genshin Impact nowadays or what? I mean then I can see that you like think it's not colorful enough, right? Blue brown? I mean, it has dirt on it, so like they didn't ha didn't have like the time or the methods to like hoover it, right? Did you see the other four art? Yeah, I like it. Too gory for you, dude. The succubus doesn't even. I mean, that doesn't have to do with the core, but. Like, she doesn't even look like she's gonna suck a bus rent. Exactly. Illuminator likes Fortnite? I mean, maybe. I mean, I don't know, like, people have always, like, different art tastes. I mean, Tomb of Korvac is always like, pretty dark, right? But also in this darkness, right? Like, every, everything, everything is, like, this dark. Then, like, look at these red projectiles by the cultists, right? They look so good here. And they look so good because everything else is kind of dark and bland, I guess. Pretty brown as well. Dude, this is more like earth grey. I mean, Earth Grey is kind of brown as well. <laughs> okay, no way, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, if you want colors, right? You have like heavy aether zones. You have like Bastion of Chaos, right? Bastion of Chaos is pretty red. Actually, pretty colorful. In a way. In its own way, right? Alright, what do I do for the last quest, guys? I don't wanna do Slith K, but I guess we have to do like the Slith uh, thing, right? Uh, yep. Holy shit, my stomach. Stop it. Oh my god. Yo, sub Bond TTV. Welcome, welcome. Oops. Play Titan Quest if you want colors. Grimdon? I mean, sure, it's a little bit darker than Titan Quest, but it's not even like that much darker. I don't know, like, how do you all feel like Grimdon is dark? I don't know, man. It's not grim, right? What do you mean Grimdon is grim? What do you mean it's grim and dark? I don't see that. Alright, we gotta do another side quest here. Ah, yes, it wants oak, of course. There you are, nearly a century ago. Let's do this one. This one is kind of sketchy. But oh well. Oh well. Just don't die, right? Honestly, constant seasons and updates in games like this make me anxious that I'm not playing fast enough to keep up. I mean, do you think like, for example, Path of Exile is like, updating too quick for you? But 
fuck I'm streaming? What the fuck I'm streaming? What the fuck Arcanon do? Work on. Yes, I'm streaming. Why not, right? Why not? Might as well. I mean, I said yesterday that I'm gonna stream today, right? I did actually say that. So. Why are you what the fucking. You just don't play PvE, you don't enjoy it. I mean, I think it depends in the end, right? Like, how much time you have to play a game, how much you're playing, like, only that one game, etc, etc, right? Like, with a game like Grim Dawn, I wouldn't mind Grim Dawn having, like, as many seasons as Path of Exile has, honestly. Like, three seasons per year doesn't seem that bad. I mean, two per year would be fine as well. And basically, like, add one endgame activity per season, I guess, in a way. Like, add one endgame, one leveling activity per season, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of what how the legs are basically like trying to do, right? We're gonna die here to the totem. Right? This totem slugs so scary, actually. It's not, not being good. Oh my god, dude. I clustered for no reason. Everything died when I clustered. Well, nice cluster. Nice cluster. Hope no rip to Turgon. Yo, Colfax Point, welcome in, man. Welcome in, welcome in. Oh my god, my hands. I crack it. <clears throat> Path of Exile is the perfect place to play with the game mechanics. If it's something good, it goes into the permanent game. Yeah. I mean, I haven't like played Path of Exile a lot. Like, I played a little bit of Ultimate League last season, right? That's basically like all I did. Like all my Pablo Exile playtime is like only from last season, kind of. Um, and I, while I, did, I certainly like dislike some parts of the game compared to Grim Dawn, but overall it's always like an objectively good game. And what I really like the most is like the end game variety. Right? Like there's so many things you can do in end game. I mean, Grim Dawn does have like some things you can do. It's not like you can only like do one thing run down either, you can like do a couple of things. But it's nowhere like close to the like end game variety that Pablo Excel has, right? I mean Grimdawn just makes you make more and more and more and more builds. I guess instead, right? And Pablo Excel can also like re-roll of course a lot, but Grimdawn is first of all like it's easier to re-roll, I feel like, or maybe not easier, but like the game is more about rerolling than Path of Exile because, I mean, there's so many things you want to try out, right? When you like find an item for this or that, you want to play that, try it out, right? On the other hand, there's also like not as much endgame stuff to do. So like at some point you're like, you're kind of like forced to reroll, maybe like earlier compared to Path of Exile because there's not quite as much to do for endgame, right? On the other hand, there's like some endgame that actually like forces you to reroll at some Celestia bosses, for example. If you're like playing the wrong class or like you don't have the items yet for the class that you're playing, then you literally can't kill them. Anyway, we have reached level 94. I didn't die. I didn't die. So say goodbye to your Bloom's daughters. Yo, Mykolas, welcome in, welcome in. You wiped your Grimdawn save file? You're gonna start fresh? Wait, already right now, or...? Oh, before PUE League? Nice. Two weeks of Grimdawn, then PUE League, and then... And then you're gonna do some other stuff. 
Oh yeah, also about it, like everybody watching on YouTube, right? Let's speed leveling. Um, don't say I cheated. I'm using a local set. That is legit, right? Don't say, like, stop saying I'm cheating when I use this set. <laughs> Fucking YouTube. <laughs> Alright, no. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you around.